Uh, so obviously you all joined because you're you're interested in learning a little bit more about the the real the future of retail and really QR codes and how they factor into um, how we connect more with our customers. And I just want to level set here what we're really hearing and seeing from uh, retail and CPG brands, big and small. Uh, how are we approaching this in a way of we're transforming into the way that we all connect with each other in our day to day? What we're hearing more and more is focusing on the omni-channel opportunity is really important. Now that's a word that's familiar with uh, with some folks, many of you have been in that space where you're trying to figure out what omni-channel really looks like just to be able to speak plainly to it. And Claire is going to build on this in a little bit, but really this is making sure that across all the different ways that your customers may and your audience may be experiencing your brand, uh, all the touch points, both in-person, digital, um, and all the different systems that they have, they have a cohesive and streamlined experience and it helps build up their association, their positive association really with your brand. The omni-channel op opportunity really connects our digital and our in-person experiences and makes that really cohesive for the customer. So Claire, you talk to a lot of folks about this and really kind of what the opportunity is. So what are you seeing specifically when it comes to how brands big and small are tackling the omni-channel opportunity? Yeah, great question. And with QR codes, certainly we are able to bridge that online and offline experience and tap into what's important to brands we're working with. Um, taking into account that not only people are on their phones or on their computers ordering products, but also going to in-person stores, retail locations, they're interacting with ads they might see out on a bus or a subway, a billboard, whatever you have. Um, you can add QR codes to all of that. Um, also making sure that a customer's journey from purchasing an item online or in-store um, to being able to review that product and give feedback and understand, was this a successful product or, you know, are our customers enjoying this product specifically um, to potentially, you don't want to have returns, but potentially returning these products if needed and having a good experience with that as well. We can use QR codes, embed them into um, different areas of the business, both online and offline. Um, so we've seen a lot of success with that, lots of obstacles to face as well. Um, also with QR codes, we've seen a lot of action in the loyalty and promotion space. Um, you want all of those being offered by your brand or company to be taken advantage of by your customers, ultimately leading to more sales and bringing them back into the funnel. Um, also with the omni-channel opportunity, we've seen a lot with promoting mobile app use. So people scanning QR codes, directing them to the mobile app that's taking them from an in-person experience, maybe a QR code that's at a store to using their cell phone, downloading the app and hopefully making future purchases on said app. Um, also, we wanna ensure that your customers are really aware of product details, specs, et cetera. Um, so taking them online, from the product, um, the in-person tangible product they're they're buying or purchasing and using in the future. Um, lots of different channels people are working with, whether it be advertising, um, product marketing, you know, retail displays, QR codes can be truly embedded anywhere in the business. So we want to bridge those gaps, make sure you're using them on several different touch points, because at the end of the day, you're gonna be able to look at those analytics and, and scan metrics as well within our tool and really understand what's working well, what's getting a lot of hits, where we might wanna focus efforts and budget and then see where we're uh, getting success from our customers.